auspicious event. Let's begin our annual day function by seeking the blessings and the presence Indeed, God commands with justice and commands with goodness. No matter what the neighbor's religion is, give food to those who don't have food, provide the water facility who don't have water facilities. Make the path of treatment easier for the sick peoples. God commands with such good deeds, also commands to do help to your family. The peoples those are trying to attack, kill, steal, trying to create unsettled environment. God commands to oppose them. Before you do anything, be wise and think. Pray to the God, be good to your parents. When they are old, you should not hurt them your words. Don't even say the word shit. You should not antagonize them. You should not oppose them. Use polite words when they are talking to them. You should not insult the peoples comparing with you and others. They may be better than you. You one category of human should not insult another category of human since we don't know who is better. If you do not repent what you did on your failures in the world. Thank you. ...of universal welcome. Well, welcoming guests is a part of a rich Indian culture and we have been following it for centuries. PA Polytechnic is well known for its hospitality and we have a strong tradition of welcoming our guests wholeheartedly. May I now invite our Vice Principal, Professor Ismail Khan, to officially welcome all the dignitaries and everyone gathered here for the annual day function. Assalamu alaikum. A very good morning to one and all. Uh, first of all, I would like to convey a heartiest thanks to the uh, management of PA Educational Trust who have given the opportunity to conduct this uh, great uh, gathering of Trizone. So, basically, I would like to welcome for the today's chief guest, that is Dr. Vincent Alva, the principal of Milagres College, Kalyanpur. Would be your warm welcome to this gathering, sir, on behalf of entire PAPT family. I request Professor K.P. Sufi, Principal of PA Polytechnic, to pay tribute 
to Dr. Vincent Alva, Distinguished Chief Guest of today's program. Dr. Vincent Alva, Distinguished Chief Guest of today's program. Now, I would like to welcome to our Sharfuddin sir, the AGM of PA Educational Trust, who is always standing with us to continuous improvement of our institution. You are cordially welcome to this occasion, sir. I request Professor Prashant SP, HOD, Department of PA Polytechnic, Mechanical Engineering, and the main coordinator of today's function to welcome Mr. Sharfuddin PK. A huge round of applause to Mr. Sharfuddin PK for gracing this occasion. Thank you. Now I am welcoming to the Principal of PA College of Engineering, Dr. Ramiz MK, who is always with us for all the aspects for the enhancement of all academic matters. You are warm welcome to this gathering, sir. I request Professor Ali Ashraf Kadapkar, HOD, Department of Civil Engineering, to welcome Dr. Ramiz MK, esteemed principal of PA College of Engineering, by presenting a sapling. Let's join our hands together for a big round of applause to Dr. Ramiz Ramiz M.K., Principal of PA College of Engineering. Thank you, sir. The Principal of PA First Grade College he is also with us on the dais. He is also one of the great person to give the complete the suggestions to our institution. You are also warm. Welcome to this gathering, sir. I request Ms. Mrs. Juveria, Head of the Department, Electronics and Communication Engineering, to welcome Dr. Sarfraz J. Hashim, Principal, PA First Grade College, by presenting a sapling. Put your hands together to welcome Dr. Sarfraz J. Hashim, Principal, esteemed Principal of PA First Grade College. We have one more uh, chief guest on the dais, that is the principal of PA College of Pharmacy, Dr. Salimullah Khan, who is always at the back of our polytechnic to give a complete suggestions and increasing the quality of institution. You are also cordially welcome to this gathering, sir. I request Ms. Ranjita, head of the department, department of Computer Science and Engineering, to welcome Dr. Sayyid Amin, Dean Student Affairs, and uh, sorry, uh, Dr. Sam Salimullah Khan, Principal PA College of Pharmacy, by gifting a sapling. Let's join our hands to welcome Dr. Salimullah Khan, Principal PA College of Pharmacy. Principal, that is uh, Dr. Sajish, the Principal of PA Institute of Physiotherapy, he is on the dais as a guest. We are welcoming you on behalf of entire PAPT family, sir. I request uh, Mrs. Tejashmi Mata, Head of the Department, Basic Science, to welcome Mr. Dr. Sajish Raghunathan, esteemed principal, PA Institute of Physiotherapy, by presenting a sapling. There we go, with a huge round of applause to welcome Dr. Sajish Raghunathan, esteemed principal of PA Institute of Physiotherapy. A fully fascinated guest on the dais, Dr. Sayyad Amin, the Dean and Student Welfare of PAET. Please, you are welcome to this occasion, sir. I request uh, Mrs. Deepa Rai, Senior Lecturer, Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, to welcome Dr. Sayyid Amin, Dean Student Affairs and Director, Center for Management Studies and Research, by gifting a sapling. Let's put our hands together once again to Dr. Sayyid Amin, Dean Student Affairs. Thank you. Now, I am going to welcome one of our chief guests on the dais who have given a wonderful HRD program to the complete PAET section. That is Mr. Faisal, sir. You are welcome to this gathering, sir. I request Ms. Aisha Shamina, lecturer from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, to welcome Mohammed Faisal, head center for research and the human resource development with a sapling. Come on, let's give a big round of applause to Mr. Mohammed Fayaz Faisal. 
Thank you. With this, we have a very grateful uh, guest on the dais. The whole and soul of this gathering thrives on, that is the principal of PA Polytechnic, Professor K.P. Sufi. You are cordially inviting this, sir. Let's welcome our beloved principal, Professor K.P. Sufi of PA Polytechnic, with a huge thunderous round of applause. Come on, everybody. Join your hands. Sounds great. Thank you so much. I welcome to all the HODs of the teaching and non-teaching of all PAET Educational Trust who have gathered and also I am going to welcome to Mr. Shaji and team from office section and from and Mr. Nihaz and team from HR section, Mr. Shani and team from site office. Also I welcome to uh, media people from the news department and also our photographer Finally, I will welcome the main coordinator of this program, that is the HOD of Mechanical Department, Prashant SP, and sub-coordinators of different uh, committees of today's gathering, Mr. Iqbal sir and Mr. Sundar sir from Physical Education Department, Mr. Rudresh sir and uh, uh, Mr. <coughs> Naufal and Transportation, uh, Naufal and Team, Transportation Department, my grand welcome to MCs of today's gathering, that is Professor Ajit Kumar Vasu, Mr. Ijaz Ahmad, and Ms. Shamima. So with this, I am going to conclude this welcome speech. And my hearty request to all the gathering here, please make dua to our legend, Dr. P.A. Ibrahim Haji, to have a first rank in Jannah. Amin, Summa Amin. Thank you, thank you one and all. Welcome to our beloved Vice Principal Professor Ismail Khan. Thank you. Let's, let's put our hands together and welcome Professor Ismail Khan as well. Thank you. I have immense pleasure in placing before you the annual report of PA Polytechnic for the academic year 2022-23. PA Polytechnic was established in the year 2006 under the management of PA Educational Trust during this academic year PA Polytechnic has completed 17 glorious years. The alumni of our institution are spread all across the globe. The available courses, PA Polytechnic offers five diploma courses. All the courses are approved by AACT New Delhi and recognized by Government of Karnataka. The sanctioned intakes to different uh, courses are as follows. Mechanical Engineering 120, Civil Engineering 120, Computer Science and Engineering 60, Electrical and Electronics Engineering 60, Electronics and Communication Engineering 60, total 420. Admissions during the year 2020-23, admissions was done as per the norms of Government of Karnataka. The student strength during the year 2020-23 is 579. <coughs> a bridge course has been specially designed for the benefit of the first year students. Staff, well qualified and experienced teaching and non-teaching staff are available in the current academic year. Library. PA Polytechnic Library is a hub of all academic activities. Our library has 8,477 volumes with 1,403 titles. Total worth of books is rupees 18 lakh 57,529. 75 technical journals, 10 magazines, and six dailies are also available. <coughs> Sorry. Scholarship: 482 students have applied in the state scholarship portal, and 313 students have applied in national scholarship portal. Staff and students' activities and achievements. Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering. I am extremely delighted to mention that the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering has made significant progress both in academic and extracurricular activities during the academic year 22-23. <coughs> a few of many accomplishments that need a special mention here are the students of Electrical and Electronics Past January, February 2023, semester exams with the exceptionally good results, thereby bringing laurels to the 
entire department and the institution. The final electrical students passed the semester exam securing 77% distinction and first class results. The second year electrical students passed the <coughs> semester exams securing 93% distinction and first class result. The first year electrical students passed the semester exams with uh, around 50% distinction and first class results. A technical talk on industrial automation was organized by the Department of Electrical and Electronics on the 7th of October 2022 to give an insight to the students about the future developments and trends in the industry. Mr. G.K. Mratunjay Gowda, Principal Government Tools and Training was the resource person. To broaden and enrich the technical knowledge of the students, the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering conducts technical study tour every year. This academic year, all the final year students accompanied by the staff, Mrs. Nazrina, visited KPTCL receiving station at Kaur, War Treatment Plant of uh, Mangalore City Corporation, Tumbe, Vented Dam. Poly, uh, Poly Shakti Enterprises Private Limited and uh, Veena Electrical and <coughs> Services for Oil Filtration and Repair of Power and Distribution Transformers, Mulki. All the final students have undergone in-plane training at uh, reputed industries to strengthen their technical skills and to acquire hands-on experience in the various industrial processes involved. The final year students are designing and constructing a state-of-the-art utility lab which can be utilized for imparting technical training. To promote technical innovation and creativity, the students were encouraged and guided to design mini projects. The students, Mr. Mohammed Shaheem and Mr. Abdullah Talha, came out uh, with brilliant and innovative mini projects like solar power station, drilling machine, and Bluetooth speaker. Mohammed, Mohammed Suwan, foursome student from END, has bagged the third prize in the national level taekwondo competition held at Mandia, Karnataka on 21st September 2022. <coughs> Mr. Abdullah Tala, the four-semester student from END, has bagged the second prize in the Emberton, a national-level technical fest organized by PACE on the 7th and 8th of May 23, thereby bringing laurel to the department and the, institu and the institution. <coughs> the first-year students have participated in the HRD program conducted by Mr. Mohammed Faisal, Head of Center for Professional and Organizational Development, PACE on 21-3-2023. Department of Mechanical Engineering. The students of Mechanical Engineering Department have made remarkable progress both in academic and extracurricular activities during the academic year 22-23. Mechanical students have passed the January-February semester exam with 16 distinction and 40 first class. Many staff members achieved good results in the subjects they have handled. Students have attended technical seminar on 3D printing machine and its applications on the 15th of December 22 by inviting Professor Shashank M. Gowda, assistant professor at Anapoya Institution. Under the initiative of Mr. Prashant and Mr. Arfas, industrial visits were organized to Kaine Technology India Limited, Mysore on the 8th December 22 and Chocolate Factory, cho sorry, Chocolate Factory, Uti, on the 9th of December 22. And under the initiative of Mr. Vishal and Mr. Arfas, the students visited GTTC Mangalore on 20th December 22. For first year students, HRD program was conducted by Mr. Mohammed Faisal on 20th March 23. The final year students have set up the 3D printing machine lab for their project work under the guidance of Mr. Jeevan. Under the initiative, Mr. Ajay PD, Mechanical Department has forged a tie-up with the NITK Suratkal on virtual lab. A mini project exhibition was organized by Mr. Ajay PD at PA Polytechnic on 22nd December 22 to encourage and promote 
creative and innovative thinking among students. Many students actively participated in the project exhibition by displaying their innovative projects. Department of Civil Engineering. Civil Engineering students passed January, February 23 semester examination with excellent grades. Many staff members achieved 100% result in the subjects handled. Final year students have undergone internship for six months arranged, six months arranged by the um, arranged by the college in various construction companies as per the syllabus. Civil department has conducted the following seminars: technical talk on introduction to traffic study and simulation software and applications, data from Sky Visim by Jackson Jabdurai. A seminar was conducted by PWD Consulting Services on Soil Testing Swelling Index Test of Soil Importance and uh, Test Procedure by Mr. Manish Shetty, PWD Engineer, Mangalore. A site visit was arranged for the students to Asai Goli, Mangalore Taluk, Dakshina Kannada District to <coughs> study the construction improvement of uh, Mani Ullal State Highway Road from Chain H, kilometer 18.68 to kilometer 21, four lanes. Students have successfully completed engineering project management, disk quality, teams and procurement, an online course by Rice University offered through Coursera and have received certificates. As a part of industrial visit program, final civil students have, have gone to Dandeli and Mysore and visited many construction sites. The students actively participated in PAPL football tournament organized by PACE. Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Computer Science students have passed the January-February semester exam with 33 distinctions and 24 first class. First year student Muhammad Ashir, first year student Muhammad Ashir has scored out of 100, 100 in mathematics. PA Polytechnic conducted project exhibition competition for various departments on 22 to 22 and total 10 teams have participated in the competition. The mini project smart home automation displayed by the students Abdul Rahman, Muhammad, Muhammad Jureis, Muhammad Fayas, Ibrahim Mahaloof, Moidin Shihan, Akshay Kumar bagged the first prize. Students have participated in a one-day workshop on artificial intelligence and machine learning conducted by Mr. Gokul Dev and Mr. Sachin Lobo from Zephyr Technologies on 23rd uh, November 22. For the benefit of our students, the department has conducted a technical talk on artificial intelligence and machine learning on 24th November 22. Final year students have undergone internship training in Japan Technology IT companies for 15 days. To get an experience of IT workplace, all the final students have been to industrial visit to Iro Hub, Infotech Private Limited, and Zephyr Technologies and Solutions Kochi. The final, the final students have undergone projects such as attendance system with face recognition, big mart, sales prediction, college, college inquiry, chatbot, customer segmentation using machine learning, driver drowsiness prediction, system using machine learning, salt segmentation using UNET. The first year students participated in the HRD program conducted by at PA Polytechnic on 10-3-23, conducted by the source person by Mr. Mohammad Faisal N. Department of Electronics and Communication. ENC students have passed the January-February semester exam with 13 distinction, 12 first class. Many staff members achieved 100% result in the subjects they handled. Students have participated in one-day workshop on introduction to industrial automation by Professor G.K. Mrathunjaya Gowda, Principal GDTC, Mangalore, organized on 7-10-22. The first-year students have participated in a one-day HRD program by Mr. Mohammad Faisal, Head of Center for, uh, for Professional and Organizational Development, PACE, on 21-3-23. The final students have designed electric handicap tricycle, tricycle as a 
part of their project work. The final year students have undergone industrial visits to Parivartana EV Mangaluru, Atter Service Center Mangalore, and Mahindra Electric Service Center Mangalore. The final year students have participated in Embers 23 in a, a national level technical fest on 7523 at Pace Mangalore. Placement report of PAPT. It gives me immense pleasure to present before you the placement report of 22-23. Our endeavor for perfection at PA Polytechnic does not end at the uh, completion of the student's course. We strive to ensure that all our students are well settled once out of the institute. institute. Hence, the placement process is given paramount importance at PA Polytechnic. Many reputed companies have conducted campus recruitments and a good number of students from various disciplines have actively participated in the campus recruitment. The corporate companies that have conducted campus recruitment are Adani Airport Mangalore conducted recruitment drive at PA Polytechnic for the post of operations officer at IXE Jet Fuel Farm for four days starting from 29-11-22 22022 Diploma in Mechanical Students, Mr. Ignesh, Mr. Sashant, Mr. Aka, Akash, Mr. Karthik, Mr. Jay, Jay Prasad, and Mr. Vishal were selected. Spectrum Techno Products conducted recruitment drive at PA Polytechnic for the post of Technical Engineer, Diploma in Electrical and Electronic Students, Mr. Mohammad Shakib and Mohammad Tausif were selected. Aditya Birla. Grassim Group conducted campus recruitment drive for the PA Polytechnic for the post of Diploma Trainee Engineer on the 7th and 8th of January 23. Mr. Vincent Brand de Souza, final year electrical electronics student, got selected. Nandi Toyota conducted campus recruitment drive at PA Polytechnic for the post of Service Advisor and Technicians on the 12th of April 23. Mr. Joshua Pinta, Joshua, sorry, Joshua Pinto. Final year mechanical student got selected as service advisor and the final year mechanical students, Mr. Shreyas G, Mr. Sagar R, Mr. Deepak, Mr. Ankit Kulal and Mr. Prajwal KP were selected for the post of technicians. Mani Ranjan Diesel Sales and Service Limited conducted campus recruitment drive at PA Polytechnic for the post of technicians on the 13th of April 23. The final year mechanical students, Mr. Hartik, Mr. Varun Kumar, Mr. Manish Kumar, Mr. Dixit, Mr. Shreyas, Mr. Ankit were selected. Many other reputable companies like Jindal Steel, JK Tires, TTK Prestige Group, Fuji Tech will be conducting campus recruitment for the students shortly. Having presented a brief report of our, uh, placement activities, for the current academic year, I thank the management, the placement officer, Professor Ajit Kumar Vasu. Please give a big round of applause. Ajit Kumar Vasu. All the faculty members, all the faculty members and the student placement coordinators of PA Polytechnic, Mr. Jitesh, Mr. Winston, Brian Disoza, for their support and cooperation extended in the recruitment process. Sports and games. Boys volleyball team and girls throwball team participated in the Inter Polytechnic tournament organized by NRAM Polytechnic NITE on 15 December 22. Boys volleyball team participated in the Inter Polytechnic tournament organized by STM Polytechnic Ujre on 20th December 22. Sajjad Ahmad of six semester mechanical has secured silver medal in the state level taekwondo competition. competition uh, held at uh, Chikmagaluru on 18 January uh, 23. On Republic Day celebration, the Department of Physical Education organized a campus tournament, campus tournament, tournament. Our Polytechnic boys volleyball team secured first prize, girls throwball team secured first prize, and the boys shuttle badminton team secured first prize. The annual sports day was conducted successfully on the 15th of March 2023. NSS report. The National Service Scheme Unit of PA Polytechnic has been functioning 
well by organizing many activities both for the development to the volunteers as well as the community. The program officer, Mr. Sandeep, did his best with the support of all the faculty members of the college. The regular activities, awareness programs and competitions were successfully conducted with the support and participation of all the NSS volunteers. The NSS unit of PIA Polytechnic took initiative in organizing Azadika Amrat Mahotso, 75th Independence Day, which was held on 15th August 22. Vice Principal Professor Ismail Khan, Campus Provisor Ms. Sudresh, HODs, Teaching and Non-Teaching Staff, NSS Coordinator Ms. Sandeep, NSS Volunteers and the college students were present on the occasion. The Vice Principal of PA Polytechnic hosted the national flag followed by the national anthem. NSS Volunteers of PA Polytechnic under the guidance of NSS Coordinator Ms. Sandeep assisted the, in the blood donation camp conducted by PA College of Pharmacy in association with the KMC Blood Bank Mangalore at Pace Campus on the 17th of May 23 in the memory of Dr. PA Ibrahim Haji. NSS volunteers have also assisted in the successful conduction of the orientation program for the first semester students and many college programs like graduation day and sports day, etc. Gratitude. We are grateful to our most beloved chairman, late Dr. P.A. Ibrahim Haji, for his excellent patronage. Sir, we remain indebted to you for all the support and the cooperation extended towards the smooth functioning of our institution for all these years. I extended my hearty thanks to Mr. Abdullah Ibrahim, Managing Trustee of PAET, for his valuable guidance and unconditional support and cooperation. I express my deep sense of gratitude to all the trustees of PA Education Trust for their support and cooperation. We thank our distinguished chief guest, Dr. Vincent Alva, Principal Milagris College, Kalyanpur, for taking time from his busy schedule and coming all the way from Kalyanpur, Udupi, and being here with us on this special occasion. Thank you, sir. I express I express my sincere thanks to Mr. Sarfuddin, sir, AGM campus, Dr. Ramiz MK, Principal Pace, Dr. Sarfraz J, Hasim, Principal PAFGC, Dr. Sayyid Amin, Ahmed, Director, Center for Management Studies, Dr. Salimullah Khan, Principal PA College Pharmacy, Dr. Sharmila Kumari, Vice Principal Pace, Dr. Sajish Tegunathan, Principal PA College of Physiotherapy for being here with us on this auspicious occasion. Thank you, sirs. My heart thanks to Professor Ismail, hearty thanks to Professor Ismail Khan, Vice Principal PAPT, Professor Prashant SP, main coordinator of today's function, HODs of various departments of different institutions, uh, <coughs> Mrs. Safanas, Madam Admission Officer, Mr. Iqbal, Director of Physical Education, PAET and Mr. Sundar, Physical Director of PA Polytechnic, Mr. Sreeni, Srini GR, Site Officer and his team for the support and cooperation extended. Thank you, thank you one and all. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for the detailed presentation of the annual day report highlighting the achievements of our institution. It was an entire moment for all of us associated with PA Polytechnic. Yes, a huge round of applause. Thank you. The newsletter thrives on. It gives information about the various events, activities, competitions, and workshops organized all around the year at PA Polytechnic. It showcases the achievements of the faculty members, the achievements of the wonderful students of PA Polytechnic. Thank you, thank you for unveiling the newsletter Thrive Zone. It's a moment to capture a brilliant newsletter Thrive Zone. Thank you. Thank you. On this occasion, I extend my deep sense of gratitude to all the members of the editorial board and 
to all the staff members for sparing their valuable time and bring express my sincere thanks to Mr. Mohammed Lighting the newsletter content thank you with us Dr. Vincent Alva as a esteemed chief guest of the day i request mrs tejashwi martha head of the department department of basic science to give a brief introduction it's a great pleasure to introduce today's chief guest dr vincent alva principal milagris college kalyanpur he was born on 8th of march 1967 currently residing at padubelle udupi sir completed his primary education in government school padubelle high school and pu in st aloysius college mangalore he pursued his bachelor's degree from pune prajna college udupi and completed his masters in english from mangalore university he received doctorate from mangalore university in 2016 for a major thesis in interpreting and interrogating indian traditions a study of fictional works of geeta mehta shashi tharoor and Rowington mystery in English literature speaking of his experience sir has 31 years of long experience as a english lecturer and 5 years as a principal he has participated in state level national and international level workshops as a resource person apart from this he has indulged himself in social activities like participating in social programs and creating awareness about social issues and societal evil being kind hearted person sir has responded to the problems of common people and helped them to find solution to the possible extent sir has proved himself as a good anchor by hosting thousands of social religious and political programs also he proudly hosted a program of honorable former president of india pranam mukherjee sir has written several columns articles stories poems and essays in konkani kannada and english in newspapers as well as on the internet two books have been published in konkani language dr u r anantamurthy's novel samsara has been translated to konkani by dr alva sir sir has set guinness world record for continuous konkani singing and has experience in <laughs> composition and singing several album songs his interest lies in agriculture cycling and consistent exercise too we are very proud to have such a multi talented personality among us sir. thank you one and all i will be speaking about mobile phones today the best use of the mobile phones today I too will drop my mobile phone here just to see the time. Shall I begin? Thanks for the beautiful introduction. And uh, the most embarrassing moment for me to sit and listen to my own int introduction. I don't like it at all. But one thing I like today, thanks to that beautiful lady. I I Listen, 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 listen. Don't jump into conclusions, please. I am yet to see her. I have not seen her properly. She must be beautiful because she introduced me so beautifully. Yes. One thing. In that introduction, I liked one thing. Anything said. i wouldn't mind even if they miss it but one thing at the end she made a statement saying that i am a passionate cyclist i like it yes i am yes i am i am a passionate cyclist i cycle i pedal my bicycles for kilometer together i have pedaled my bicycle from udupi to this way also all the way to vitla puttur it's it's not a i mean uh, a task for me at all i love i have a beautiful bicycle costing only 1 lakh 60000 rupees and that is a why i am telling is cycling is my passion and that's why i am fit and fine today coming back i am not going to make a boring speech today 
I would like to congratulate you. I would like to congratulate the principal for reading out your achievements. Never anywhere on his report, principal said, I did this, I did that. I did not listen to at least one sentence, Dr. Sufi uttering that I did this. But he proudly presented the reports of the various departments saying that my staff members, my colleagues did it, my students did it. What a proud feeling he must be having. That's why I would like to... I would like to congratulate you all for the, for the greatest achievements that you have done. You are the achievers. I go to many institutions as a chief guest. Most of the time, I see the colorful side of the auditorium. And in most of the auditoriums, the auditorium will be filled with only ladies. But here, this is not the case. For the first time, I'm witnessing very handsome guys in the auditorium. And I, I love your spirit. I love your spirit. I love the spirit of your teenage. This is what you should be. And that's what I have come here to tell you. Let me begin. Don't misunderstand me when I make this statement, please. For God's sake. Of late, I heard a beautiful statement. Whosoever made it, that person is not important for me. Nafrat ki bazaar mein pyaar ka dukaan kolna chahata hu. I am deaf, I am blind, but I only my, my tongue moves today. The person who made this statement is immaterial to me. To whatsoever political party he belongs. But the statement is important for me. Nafrat ki dukaan mein pyaar, nafrat ki dukaan mein pyaar ka, nafrat ki bazaar mein pyaar ka, yeah, say, tell it. And, 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 that responsibility lies in you. This is not just a statement for me. It might be a political statement for that person who uttered that statement. But this is not a political jargon for me. It is a narrative for me. And this narrative has gone down to the spine of the humanity. This particular statement has shaken the nerves of the humanity. This particular statement has made the people who have made their hearts so hard like rock melt like the ghee. And this particular statement, we will have to carry it and we will have to make this statement a reality around. How is it possible then? Again, let me tell you, Nafrat ke bazar mein pyar ka dukaan kolna chahata hu. And that responsibility lies in the youth of this PA Polytechnical College. Don't think, don't you ever think that this is impossible. This is an impossible mission. Please throw out politics from your mind now. Let us speak about humanity here. Because where do the where are the humanity humanity factories where do you find humanity humanity is sapling as you have given to us should be grown in the educational institutions now if you say in polytechnical college here if you study only engineering mechanical civil and computer science please pack up your things and go back home any institution will provide you. But PA institution here, I have seen it, I have realized, I have heard, is not only there, its existence is not to teach engineering, its existence is to teach humanity. You are the people, you are the barriers, you are the carriers of that beautiful message around. Carry and, and, carry and spread the message of humanity around, which is possible. How is it possible? Simple, very simple. Only utter, chant four letters. Only chant four letters. And those four letters are 
the first four letters of english alphabet a b c d dear students only chant those four letters and just imagine just try to dream what those letters suggest you what those letter what message those letters carry for you a let us think of a what is a show the right attitude show the right attitude i see some of my students in the college i have nearly 1000 students in the campus they walk in the campus as if they do not have life the students of 18 19 20 20 1 years old students walk in the campus as if they have not eaten for life as if they are not alive on this earth as if they are a burden to this mother earth i feel so sorry see my my i i'll be speaking about myself okay don't think that i have got a head weight i have a head but no weight okay i go to i enter my college at 8:30 before anybody can enter and leave the campus by 7:458 why the most beautiful time i spend in the institution is for my sake i'm very selfish guy i'm very selfish guy i will be seen come at any time without telling me you will see me in the ground from 4:45 to 6:45 playing with the students or if the students are not there running in the ground that is the most beautiful attitude i have hey look at him man he is showing attitude come on what is that kind of attitude you are showing show the right attitude hit your chest and say yes i am alive when can you say that when can you say that when the spirit is alive within you you can say yes i am alive show that attitude when the principal comes in front of you principal should say oh my god what a beautiful personality you have i'm so happy to meet you i'm so happy that a student like you is standing in front of me has any student heard this from the principal till now till now no because you don't have that attitude when you stand in front of your mother when you stand in front of your father does he feel proud yesterday one muslim student let me say very straight caste that is not a barrier but here i want to say a muslim student came to me i said please don't stand in front of me if you want to stand in front of me come with your parents today only today tomorrow you will not be there in the college that student came i asked father i asked his father are you happy with your son i asked his father are you happy with your son father right away stared at the son and said no i am not happy with my son do you want to listen this statement from your parents only on that be the last day in your life even if you are alive carry the right attitude think about that great personality who carried the right attitude that is dr apj abdul kalam my god he is there in this heart he cannot be moved unmoved or taken away from my heart not because he was the president of india not because of the president of india anybody can be the president of india as there is another president now but that president was special why not because he went around that president was a president ever to be remembered in india because for his simplicity can a man be so simple can a man be so simple being such a great person he was the first and foremost the best scientist india has ever seen can a person be that simple listen to see the present politicians they have garnered or gathered a mass property money enough not only for themselves enough for 10 generations to come but abdul kalam when he died he had only two blazers he did not have a house he did not have a car of himself he had only 16 doctoral degrees and this person that lady said he has one doctoral degree but apj abdul kalam had 16 doctor degrees did he anywhere on the stage say that did you hear him okay you have recorded speeches of dr apj abdul kalam please listen to them even if you don't eat it's okay 
you will be alive but please listen to the speeches of dr apj abdul kalam at least once a day you will change your life because he is the person who can just channelize your attitude he had 16 doctoral degrees and he had more than 2000 books in his shelf he had more than 2000 books in his shelf he was sitting on the floor and reading he did not have a chair as i have in my office i did, i did not enter into a principal's office we have a big chair only to frighten the students only to frighten the students hey look at that man he is sitting on a big chair and frightening us looking at us staring us only that but dr apj abdul kalam carry that spirit b believe in yourself believe in yourself only if you have the right attitude only if you have believe in yourself say that you can do it and see the moment if i say something to my student they say nanage agudilla that word should never come from your mouth i cannot that sentence because even if you cannot it's okay try the person who says i cannot he will never try and until and unless you try how can you believe in yourself that you can do the things look at that tendulkar look at that tensing look at that uh, I, uh, who is that one lady Aru, arunima arunima lady who climbed mount everest with without legs she believed that she could do she believed that she could do just think of usain bolt to run only for 19 minutes maybe to only he ran only for 19 minutes to win so many gold medals and to run only for 19 minutes he practiced for 20 years this is the belief you should have in yourself and imagine that big build huge tall build Usain Bolt running doesn't he make anything doesn't he create some ripples in your heart when you think of Usain Bolt when you think of uh, when you think of uh, Sachin Tendulkar Sachin Tendulkar and I do not know whether you have heard the name of uh, Vinod Kambli anybody has heard the name of Vinod Kambli raise your hand if you have heard the name of Vinod Kambli Vinod Kambli and Sachin Tendulkar were contemporaries I, I believe you will agree with me, Vinod Kamli was a better cricketer, better batsman than Sachin Tendulkar. You should see his cover drive. It's Zubi kissing the ground and running into the boundary. But what happened? He had a different attitude. And he went away. And he gave importance to his lifestyle. But Sachin Tendulkar gave importance to his life, not style. And that's why Sachin Tendulkar believes himself. Three. C, confidence. Have the confidence in yourself. Do you have the confidence in yourself? Once I thought, my friends called me, let's go for cycling. Till then I was only pedaling for 50, 50 kilometers or 60 kilometers. He said, they said, let's go. Where? Let's go as much as we can. And believe me, one night from 6 o'clock, to another 6 o'clock in the morning, I pedaled 235 kilometers. 235 kilometers. And then I believed in myself. I, I picked up the confidence and then I started riding and ended up in Goa. Ended up in Goa. Without telling home, without telling, if I had told home, my wife would never have allowed me because she has only one husband. She wouldn't have allowed me. That is the confidence I have. Anything I will leave, not my cycling. Anything I will leave, not my exercise. That is the confidence I have in me. And today if I stand before you, that confidence is there in me that I can stand in front of the students and I can make you listen to me. This is the confidence I have. Wherever I go, audience will be there with me because I speak my heart. D. D is you need to have discipline and dignity please don't forget this you need to have discipline and dignity you want to make a joke make a disciplined joke make a dignified joke don't insult someone with your joke make somebody laugh his heart out with your jokes 
and that is what you need to do you need to carry yourself with dignity and people should look again and again look at you again and again for the way you are carrying yourself and they will have to come in search of you where is that person oh my god the way he walks way he goes around if he doesn't come to the campus if he doesn't come to the college we should feel that we miss something in the campus that is what we should be friends with these four letters you can create the ripples of humanity and you can make this narrative of humanity go around and it is possible nafrat ke bazar mein pyar ke dukaan kholna chahta hu we need to do it and this is possible not with islam not with hinduism not with christianity if you want to open a, 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 a shop of love it's only with personal grit and commitment which is possible we we have a religion most of you are most of you belong to islam and islam is a religion which spreads humanity i heard the prayer we do not want anybody to suffer we do not and the sir said no no religion if anybody is hungry in front of you feed him that is what quran says do we do that we need to don't they speak the language of religion speak the language of humanity through your religion which is very very important and this narrative calls for the same i will wind up there is a beautiful song and it is a beautiful song see look at this this is a temple this is a masjid this is a church any god there is a place for any god in this temple this temple is not built only for one god this temple is not in uh, in uh, khashi this temple is not in um, um, mecca this temple is not in uh, rome this temple is a moving temple carrying the gods like you belonging to any religion and there is a beautiful song a poem written <coughs> ನನ್ನ ಎಲುಬಿನ ಹಂದರದೊಳಗೊಂದು ಮಂದಿರ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ ನನ್ನ ಎಲುಬಿನ ಹಂದರದೊಳಗೊಂದು ಮಂದಿರ ಇದೆ ನನ್ನ ಎಲುಬಿನ ಹಂದರದೊಳಗೊಂದು ಮಂದಿರ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿದ್ದ ರಾಮ ಅಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಾನೆ ರಾಮ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ರಾಮನಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ರಾಮನಿದ್ದಾನೆ ನನ್ನ ಎಲುಬಿನ ಹಂದರದೊಳಗೊಂದು ಮಸೀದಿ ಇದೆ ನನ್ನ ಎಲುಬಿನ ಹಂದರದೊಳಗೊಂದು ಮಸೀದಿ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ನನ್ನ ಎಲುಬಿನ ಹಂದರದೊಳಗೊಂದು ಇಗರ್ಜಿ ಇದೆ ನನ್ನ ಎಲುಬಿನ ಹಂದರದೊಳಗೊಂದು ಇಗರ್ಜಿ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಾನೆ ನನಗೋಸ್ಕರ ಮೊಳಜಡಿಸಿಕೊಂಡು ಪ್ರಾಣ ತ್ಯಜಿಸಿದ ಏಸು ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏಸು ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ನನ್ನ ಎಲುಬಿನ ಹಂದರದೊಳಗೊಂದು ಮಂದಿರ ಇದೆ ನನ್ನ ಎಲುಬಿನ ಹಂದರದೊಳಗೊಂದು ಮಂದಿರ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಾನೆ ರಾಮ ಅಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಾನೆ ರಾಮ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ರಾಮನಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ರಾಮನಿದ್ದಾನೆ ನನ್ನ ಎಲುಬಿನ ಹಂದರದೊಳಗೊಂದು ಮಸೀದಿ ಇದೆ ನನ್ನ ಎಲುಬಿನ ಹಂದರದೊಳಗೊಂದು ಮಸೀದಿ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಲ್ಲ 
ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ನನ್ನ ಎಲುಬಿನ ಹಂದರದೊಳಗೊಂದು ಈಗರ್ಚಿದೆ ನನ್ನ ಎಲುಬಿನ ಹಂದರದೊಳಗೊಂದು ಈಗರ್ಚಿದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಯೇಸು ಅಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಯೇಸು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯೇಸು ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯೇಸು ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ರಾಮನಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲನಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬುದ್ಧ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಗಾಂಧಿ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಇದ್ದೀನ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಇದ್ದೀರಾ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ after having heard a beautiful speech and a melodious song uh, at this moment when you are waiting for your celebration it's not the right time to talk for one hour also or even 5 minutes when the credentials of the chief guest was read i was telling our agm that we will ask him to sing a song so i think without our request uh, you have uh, fulfilled our uh, desire so one thing i would like to tell you to add uh, to what he has told what sir has told is nafrat ki bazar mein نفرت کی بازار میں پیار کی محبت کی دکان کھولو سو وی آل شوڈ بیکم دا ٹارچ بیر آف آف دس اینڈ دیز ورڈس وی شوڈ ٹیک اٹ اینڈ اٹ شوڈ ٹیک ونگس and it should be fulfilled there is a couplet by alama iqbal dil se jo baat nikalti hai dil se jo baat nikalti hai asar rakhti hai they don't have wings magar bahut bada taakat rakhti hai so these words what has come from the hearts we should imbibe it we should spread love in the humanity spread the message at the same time <clears throat> you polytechnic students you are the people with skill <clears throat> skill has got a lot of value i'll tell you one simple story to understand the value of skill <clears throat> once in a ship the engine failed everybody tried to rectify it but could not but somebody told that there is a person an engineer whatever may be his degree but he is very skilled we can call him and we all are sure that 100% we will be able to rectify it so he was called he came with a hammer he hit the engine at various spots then after that he asked someone to bring a screwdriver opens the engine he tightened some screws then was asked to run the engine so when the switch was on the engine started running so his bill was asked so it's just a one hour job or less than that so when his bill was asked it was around 80000 rupees for one hour how much 80000 so somebody asked for one hour you are charging 80000 rupees you give the split up for just tightening a screw for just tightening a screw you ask for 80000 rupees then he told okay i'll give the split up the split up was to tighten the screw only 1000 rupees to tighten the screw only 
thousand rupees. To diagnose which screw to be tightened, it is how much? Seventy-nine thousand rupees. So the skill that you acquire at the polytechnic, the skill of your engineering subject, especially the diploma level, if you are able to diagnose the problem, if you are skilled enough to troubleshoot, then you have got value in the market. Especially nowadays, when there are some decreasing trends in certain technological subjects, some areas, but still we see that there is a big, big, very big chance for skill labor. I would like to quote one incident very recently. One of my friend, he told that he went to one of a, <coughs> this uh, um, automated machine manufacturing, no, one company there in uh, Vadodara, CNC machine company. So the owner of the machine told that he had almost around eight CNC machines. Each machine was costing two crore rupees. So that means around 16 crore rupees property. There are people to buy it and he can sell it. There is no dearth of money, nothing. People are ready to buy it. But he's not able to sell it. The reason is the engineer who is skilled to install this engine, he's not free. So once you sell the engine, then what happens is that the call comes from the customer that we want to get it installed. So you just imagine a 16 crore rupees is held up only because of lack of skilled labor. So we hope that the polytechnic students who are here uh, under the leadership of our young uh, Sufi sir, normally our chairman calls him as the youngest principal in the campus. Today I have understood that the audience, your students are also having, are also very young as you, as the principal. So you young students and the young principal and the dynamic uh, Ismail Khan sir and all the faculty who are here, I think you'll be able to create wonders. Wish you all the best. And whenever celebration happens, uh, sir told in the beginning, that is mobile phones. Uh, nowadays, most of the time, the celebrations are oriented only towards impressing others. We should be focused on expressing ourselves rather than impressing others. I repeat, we should be focused on expressing ourselves rather than impressing others. When you focus, especially in the social media time, you do something, you post it, you are worried about the likes and the dislikes. So when your focus in life becomes only on impressing others, you get elevated out of proportion when you are appreciated by somebody. I repeat, you get elevated out of proportion when you are appreciated by somebody and you get disheartened and disgusted out of proportion when somebody criticizes you. So when you do something to express yourself, you are convinced, yes, I am doing this. This is right, this is wrong. When somebody appreciates, you weigh it, whether I am eligible for that appreciation. Then you appreciate it, you appreciate it, you enjoy it. When somebody criticizes you, you weigh it, whether this criticism is right or not. If it is right, you accept it and you correct it. If it is wrong, leave it. So we should now be in a mode to express ourselves so that we are able to manage our success and also manage our failures. Managing success is very easy, but managing failures is sometimes very tough. So the lives of lessons should be something balanced in your professional field, in your studies, in your personal life, in your social life, in your family life, your relationship with, with the creator, with the creations, so that we become fine human beings. At PA Educational Trust, our founder chairman, Dr. P. Ibrahim Haji, when he opened this campus,
in 1999 this trust his aim was to build such a generation and show to the society we are indeed capable of creating such fine human beings wish you all the best congratulations to the complete team for having this day thank you very much all achievers of pa polytechnic may i now invite chera department of computer science and engineering to read out the list of students who have excelled in academics and extracurricular activities in spirus 2023 this will be distributed in the general proficiency category i read the front row and be ready thank you good morning one and all will be distributed for the general proficiency category and the best outgoing students from the each department now let me call out the names of the general proficiency prize winners from the department of mechanical engineering so i request dr vincent alwa esteemed chief guest of today's function to come forward and give away the prizes the first prize in general proficiency for the final year mechanical engineering student goes to mohammad muhas i request mohammad muhas to come forward and receive the prize from the esteemed chief guest of the day dr vincent alwa second prize goes to deekshit i request deekshit to come forward and receive the prize second year mechanical engineering student goes to tilak p nayak i request tilak p nayak to come forward and receive the prize second prize goes to nishant k dear student give them a big round of applause the first prize in general proficiency for the first year mechanical section a goes to manvit second prize goes to ahmed fayaz k the first prize in general proficiency for the first year mechanical b section goes to prasanna kumar k r second prize goes to zahid hasan outgoing student from the department of mechanical engineering goes to pintu joshua ivan denis i request all the student to give him a big round of applause thank you sir Thank you. Now let me call out the names for the general proficiency prize winners from the Department of Civil Engineering. So I request Mr. Sharfuddin P.K. AGM P.A. Educational Trust to come forward and give away the prizes. The first prize in the general proficiency prize from the Civil Engineering final year goes to Muhammad Razik. second prize goes to devri peslin second prize goes to glen shelton rodriguez i request all the students to give them a big round of applause cheer cheer all the prize winners The first prize in the general proficiency for the first year civil engineering goes to Adish. Second prize goes to Muhammad Sufeed.
best outgoing student from the Department of Civil Engineering goes to Muhammad Iqbal from final year CS. Thank you, thank you, sir. From the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. So I request Dr. Rami ZMK, Principal, PA College of Engineering, to come forward and give away the prizes. The first prize in general proficiency for the final year CS student goes to Glorister Nongram. Second prize goes to Sheikh Adnan Ahmad. The first prize in general proficiency for the second year computer science and engineering goes to Ibrahim Maluf. Second prize goes to Mohammad Jurej. The first prize in general proficiency for the first year computer science and engineering goes to Mohammad Shamas. Second prize goes to Deekshit. The best outgoing student from the computer science and engineering department goes to Ismat Fatima. Now let me call upon the name, call upon the students for the general proficiency prize from the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering. The general proficiency prize from the final year goes to Winston Brian De Souza. Second prize goes to Ashwin De Souza. So I request our chief case, Dr. Sarfraz J. Ashim, to come forward and give away the prizes. The first prize in general proficiency for the second year electrical and electronics engineering goes to Parikshit K. Second prize goes to Nishant Mishra. The first prize in general proficiency for the first year electrical and electronics engineering goes to Yajne Sharje. Second prize goes to Jeevan. The best outgoing student from the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering goes to Latesh. Thank you, sir. Now let me call out the names of general proficiency prize winners from the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. So I request Mr. Sajish Raghunathan, Principal of PA College of Physiotherapy, to come forward. The first prize in general proficiency for the second year Electronics and Communication Engineering goes to Muzam Mill. Second prize goes to Clive Reynol Lesrado. The first prize in general proficiency for first year electronics and communication engineering goes to Muhammad Ashik Maktoum.
second prize goes to Jagadish. I request all the prize winners to come forward as soon as possible. The best outgoing student of Electronics and Communication Engineering goes to Mohammad Afif. Salimullah Khan to give away the prizes. Yes, sir, writing. First prize goes to Riya Kulsum from 6th semester computer science. Second prize goes to Mohammad Badisha from 2nd sem computer science. And Aishitul Azmina, 2nd semester computer science. Allocation competition, first prize goes to Mohammad Ashir from 2nd Sem Computer Science and Engineering. Second prize goes to Mohammad Aban from Computer Science and Engineering. Now we have a great achievement holder, holder of this institution, Mohammad Asir. Mohammad Asir, who has scored full marks in the semester examination, which was held on January, February 2023. I request Mohammad Asir from Computer Science and Engineering to receive the award. Applause. student who has secured 100 out of 100 in the mathematic examination. Thank you, sir. Dr. Sayed Amin, Dean and D Director CMSR to, gov to give away the prizes. Allocation competition, first prize backed by once again Mohammad Asir from 2nd Sem Computer Science and Engineering. Anisha and Mohammad Asir from 2nd Sem Computer Science and Engineering. Now it's time to announce the prize winners for the mini project which was held in the previous semester. The winners of mini project goes to Abdul Rahman, Akshay Kumar, Ibrahim Maluf. Mohammad Fayaz, Mohammad Jurej, and Moedin Sihan from 4th semester Computer Science and Engineering. Thank you, sir. Now I request Mohammad Faisal guest of today's function to give away the prizes. Now let, now let move on to the sports. Mr. Faisal Ahmad to give away the prizes.
individual championship from girls goes to Nazia from second sem computer science and engineering. I request all my dear students to give her a big round of applause. Moving on to the next event, football. First place goes to Shafiq and team from second sem Shafiq and Sim, second year computer science and engineering. I request Shafiq and team to come forward and receive the prizes. Mohammad Rashid, Mohammad Jurej, Mohammad Fayaz, Ismail Fawaz, Mohammad Afla, Moidin Sihan, Sahal Abdul Salam, Shamim Ali, Mohammad Jawad, Mohammad Naushir, Mohammad Safil, Mohammad Shiaab. I request all the prize winners to come as soon as possible. Second prize goes to Second Sim Civil Engineering, Mohammad Afla and team. I request Mohammad Afla, Faisal, Adil Fakir, Midlaj, Shibaz, Shehzad CM, Shazil, Rais, Sanal, Atid, Suhail, Sadiq, Arman to come forward and receive the prizes. Moving on to the next event, cricket. First prize goes to Mohammad Badish and team from Second Sim Computer Science and Engineering. So I call upon all the team members to come forward and receive the prizes. Mohammad Badisha, Gurraj, Mohammad Taniz, Abdul Kadar Zayan, Mohammad Irshad, Mohammad Muzamil, Moidin Anwar, Mohammad Simak, Mohammad Sihan, Mohammad Afrid, Mohammad Taufik, Abdul Rahman Shayan, Mohammad Shail. Second prize in cricket goes to Second Sim Electrical and Electronics Department, Abdul Rahman Basha and team. I request all the team members to come forward. Abdul Muhiz, Jostin Lobo, Madhu Kumar, Mohammad Nafa, Mohammad Moidin Shahs, Mohammad Anif, Mohammad Taushir, Nasha Telis, Vajresh, Mohammad Adnan Arif, Mohammad Azir. I request all of them to come forward and receive the prizes. Moving on to the next event, Volleyball. First prize goes to Mohammad Bhaktija and team from Second Sem Computer Science and Engineering. I request all the team members to come forward and receive the prizes. Second prize in Volleyball goes to Junaid and team from Second Sim Electronics and Communication Department. I request Junaid, Mohammad Suhail, Mohammad Ashpak, Akash Suwarna, Mohammad Mufed, Mohammad Takiyuddin, Abdul Harish, Anisur Rahman to come forward and collect the prizes.
we have a best outgoing student of computer science and engineering department ismat fatima i call upon ismat fatima to come forward and receive the prizes thank you sir she pin different events and different activities which is none other than computer science and engineering the best overall championship goes to computer science and engineering so i request so i request code so i call call upon the computer science and engineering to receive the prize now i request our beloved principal kp sufi to give away the prizes Juraj, Shafiq, Asbar, I request all the computer science students to come forward and receive the prizes. Asir, Ismat, Ria, Kulsum. the dynamic dr vincent alva so i request our esteemed chief guest dr vincent alva to come forward and accept a fruit ball and memento from our beloved principal professor kp sufi as a token of our gratitude and appreciation i invite all the dignitaries to accompany and uh, join in felicitating our chief guest our chief guest dr vincent alva thank you sir for accepting our felicitation thank you to extend a vote of thanks on this occasion first and foremost on behalf of entire papt family i extend my deep sense of gratitude and appreciation to our beloved mr abdullah principal Milagris College Kalyanpur for his esteemed presence and enlighten us with knowledge and wisdom thank you sir i also take this opportunity to express my gratitude and appreciation to our agm mr sarfuddin sir our special thanks to dr ramiz mk principal pa college of engineering for being being here with us on this special occasion we also thanks dr sarfara sir principal first grade college for giving your valuable time thank you sir i would extend my warm gratitude to dr salimulla khan principal pa pharmacy for his presence thank you sir Dr Sayyad Amin Dean and Director CMSR for their wholehearted support and cooperation thank you sir we also thank Mr Mohammad Faisal sir head center for professional and organizational development PAET i would like to thanks Dr Sajish principal physiotherapy for this occasion i express my deep sense of gratitude to our vibrant principal professor kp sufi sir for his valuable minute to minute guidance and encouragement in organizing organizing this event my sincere thanks to our beloved vice principal professor ismail khan for all the cooperation extended 
I also express my sincere thanks to all the media persons, both print and electronic, for giving an extended coverage of our program. I special thanks to all the HODs and staff members, uh, uh, physical director Mr. Iqbal sir and uh, Sundar sir, campus supervisor Rudra sir, and all the members of the site officer headed by Srini sir, audio and stage arrangers, student coordinators, and to all the students of PA Polytechnic for the support and cooperation extend for the great successful of this program. Thank you one and all.